Hello YouTubers, this is Ed again. I uh, thought I'd uh, release a short video on two binoculars I recently purchased. And of course this will be a really non-theatrical uh, kind of production, but I thought I'd just kind of give somebody an insight. Uh, what I'm looking at right now are two pair of binoculars I bought. And at the time I was trying to decide which ones I'd prefer, so I ended up buying both, which probably doesn't make a lot of uh, financial sense, but hey, how's it going? That's how things go. So. Right now I'm going to evaluate here, the, or at least explain some of the differences between two 10 by 42 uh, sets of binoculars. And one of which is a Swarovski SLC 10 by 42, and the other is a Zeiss Conquest HT HD uh, 10 by 42. And I've been doing just my own little uh, non-scientific test and that kind of stuff. but. Overall, I thought I'd just kind of give just somebody a brief update if somebody's considering between the two binoculars. And I'm going to get down to it. I'll just kind of start right now. I recently purchased these Swarovski's uh, SLC 10x42, and they're awesome binoculars. You know, I've often heard about Swarovski, and I thought I'd give them a chance, and, and they meet all my expectations. And bottom at Sportsman's Warehouse, I paid $1,800 and close to $2,000 after tax, and they're amazing. And over here are my Zeiss Conquest. I've had these over five years. I haven't used them a lot in the field, but they're also awesome binoculars. And essentially, I've done some day tests, night tests, a clarity test, and I mean, again, all just subjective tests with my own eyes without any kind of meters or calibration or anything. But uh, essentially, I cannot find any difference in the performance, you know, both for brightness, sharpness, detail, even uh, uh, detail and blurriness on the edges. I can't see it. So optically, I say these binoculars are darn close to the same. The only small difference optically I can see is the Swarovski's seem to have 22 millimeter uh, eyepiece lenses, whereas the Zeiss have 24 millimeter. Probably doesn't make as big a difference since it's not the objective lens, and the, both objective lenses are about the same size. But overall, I think, I mean, you have to ask yourself, are the Swarovski's worth 80% more? And I'd say maybe. And I would say the Swarovskis have an edge over the Zeiss because the Swarovski, the, excuse me, the Zeiss are almost like holding two by fours, whereas the, the ergonomics on the Swarovskis are amazing. They're, they have a kind of a pebbled uh, uh, rubbery finish, whereas these have kind of a smooth rubbery finish. And these are, these are fatter, and they have kind of a thumb recess, as you can see. And they're, they're grippier, and they have kind of a pebble finish, so they're far easier to hold. Plus, they're about a centimeter shorter, so they're a little more compact. And one thing I do commend uh, Swarovski for having, it has the locking type diopter adjustment, and which I like where you can lock and unlock it once you set your diopter setting, whereas the Zeiss kind of cheaped out, in my opinion. They just have the diopter ring. And the Zeiss is credit, it's it's very tight. I mean, you have to put some effort into it. It's not going to slip on its own. And I'm sure Zeiss would come back and say, hey, that's a price point you get for just $1,000 binoculars. But I would con contend that my $300 loophole, Jap Japanese-made loophole, have also a locking type doctor. So I guess you can't really hold that to the point. But optically, they're about the same. I say, if you're looking for just pure performance, these were pretty darn hard to beat for a thousand bucks. If you're looking for performance and uh, packaging, I would say the Swarovskis may be worth the extra money. Plus, these seem to have much higher resale value. I've seen these go uh, new on eBay for around $800, and which is far cheaper than buying them locally with tax, whereas you almost never see Swarovskis marked down, even used. And I would say for that value, if money's no object, buy the Swarovskis. These are made in Austria, these are made in Germany. As far as cases go, I actually kind of give the nod to Zeiss. It has more of a tactical case, where it's just more kind of a, a fashion case. It doesn't seem as rugged and all this kind of stuff. So overall, if I had to buy binoculars, it depends what you're looking for. If, if, if you don't mind holding on to a two by four <laughs> type field, uh, the performance is right there. And I'd, I'd say that's pretty much my assessment of it. Again, not a technical assessment. I could probably uh, give something more detail if there's more interest, but if you're on the fence between these two binoculars, uh, that's kind of where I'm standing right now. And I have them both now, and I like them both. I'll probably keep them both. So uh, if you have any questions, just uh, ask them in the comment section. Thanks, everybody. Bye.